Hi everyone, Greg here. Now, I recently received a very generous donation into my PayPal account from a Gary Lane. Now, Gary asked me if I could make a, a special recipe for him for his donation. I said, mate, whatever you want, within reason. He asked me to make for him a Salisbury steak with a mushroom gravy sauce. I said, mate, too easy, consider it done. Let's start cooking. Now that might look like a lot of ingredients, but it isn't. Everything you see here, you should be able to find in your cupboard or in your local grocery store. I'm super excited. Can't wait to make this for you, Gary. Thanks a lot, mate. Okay, let's make some space and start this process. So I've got half a kilo of meat here. So we'll whack that in a bowl. Now to that, we want to add as much pepper as you want. I'm adding heaps because I love pepper. Wow, I added so much, I've just run out. And a few good cracks of salt as well. Some garlic powder, about a teaspoon's worth. Make sure that it hasn't been sitting in the cupboard for so long that it doesn't actually work anymore. About a teaspoon's worth of garlic powder. A nice dash of Worcestershire. I've got some breadcrumbs here. I'll add about a quarter of a cup of those. And we also add one egg. Without the shell, hopefully. And we mix this all together, combining it well. And now once we've done that, we'll try and break these into four lots. So I'll just do a cross down the center and separate each one. And out of this, I'll just make like a risole, hamburger style piece of beef there and sort of half flatten it out so I'll be able to get four out of this four now preheated up my frying pan I'll see if it's hot enough oh you son yes it is so into there I'll add my best friend butter and we'll start that melting now you're probably thinking Greg that looks like a heck of a lot of butter to be using well if you're thinking that, you're right, it is. We want this nice and creamy, so don't be afraid to add lots of butter. And now into here, we'll add our bits of meat. Make sure you don't overcrowd them. And now we just gotta cook those until they're nice and golden on both sides. Now I am gonna be serving this with mashed potatoes mm! and a mushroom gravy, so I've gotta start putting those things on and cutting them up. Oh yeah. Love mashed potatoes. Add some salt to the water because that's the way I roll. And I'll put those on and start those cooking. Anyway, these Salisbury steaks are looking pretty good. Let's give them a flip. Oh yeah, perfect. This frying pan, by the way, is on about a four, which is about a medium high heat. I don't want it too high because the butter will start burning. Where's the lid for these potatoes? I'll put those on so they'll start cooking a bit faster. Now we are having a mushroom gravy sauce with this today. A lot of people like to use onions, so if you prefer onions, use those. I prefer mushrooms. And so does Gary, so good work Gary. How good do they look? So now, once they're nicely browned, don't worry if they're not cooked all the way through because that's not important right now. But we'll remove these bits of meat and we'll put these aside and save them and now into here I'm going to put my mushrooms of course if you've got onions put those in and we'll cook these mushrooms in this nice fatty meaty buttery sauce until they're kind of soft you might want to turn the heat down a little bit too so you don't like overcook them or burn them now that probably won't take too long. If you've got onions, it could take about 20 minutes. So allow some time for that. These mushrooms will cook a little bit faster, so that's even better. Right, so what's next? So now what is next is grab yourself some plain flour and we want to add one, two tablespoons worth. Try and get it in the pan and not all over everything else other than the pan. And now we just want to fry this, and stir it around, mix it through. Now we want to cook this for a couple of minutes because if you don't cook it for that few minutes, the flour taste will go right through this dish and we don't want that. 
So by cooking that flour, it'll get rid of that doughy, pasty, untasty, floury, pasty, tasty. Does that make sense? So that's been a few minutes. So now to this, I've got two cups of water, which I'll add into here. Maybe a little bit less to start off with. I'll turn the heat up. I'm gonna bring this to the boil. And I've got two bullion cubes, two stock cubes here. Oh boy, what's wrong with those? I know I hadn't used them for a while, but <laughs> have a look at them, they look like candy now. But we'll break the two of those in here. And two. Mmm, beef candy. Yum! And let's make sure that these bullion cubes dissolve well. Now that's boiling nicely. It is a little bit too runny. I've probably put a little bit too much water in. So I'll just let it reduce until that gravy is sort of a little bit thicker than that. It's just a, on that little bit of a thin side. So I'll just let the steam evaporate out. When I move this, I can definitely see that it's leaving a bit of a space on the bottom. See that? See that? Watch again. See? Anyway. <laughs> So that's my desired sort of thickness. So now, once it's got to that, we just carefully reintroduce our Salisbury steaks. Ooh, some butter. Let's not forget that. Juice of the gods. Now I'll turn the heat down to a simmer, so I don't know, about a two, I guess. Reduce the heat down anyway, and let's grab a lid, and we'll whack that on top. And we'll let that simmer away for about 15 minutes by which stage these potatoes should be nicely boiled and it should all be ready. Ah! Oh, dang diggity, that was hot. Anyway, we'll come back when it's all ready because pretty much that's it done. How easy was that? So how about Gary, I plate you up a nice plate full and then I'll taste test it for you when I tuck on in for the old Salisbury, Salisbury steak, steak with, mushroom with mushroom gravy, gravy sauce. sauce. Taste test. Ooh! Right, with about five minutes to go, let's see if these potatoes, oh yeah, beautiful. Right, I'll start mashing these. Make sure I add heaps of butter into there. Because everything tastes better with butter. Maybe a dash of milk as well. Because most things taste better with a dash of milk. Boof, they're done. How easy is that? I'll keep those warm. Well, the time has gone off. That was 15 minutes. Now, remember, you can cook these for as long as you want. You can leave them in for 20, 25, just whenever you're ready. But just take a look at that. Oh, yeah. I'm looking over in this corner here and just look at all that butter that's sitting there. So that gravy is a pretty good texture now. That's good. So let's plate it up. So I'll start with some mashed potatoes. Mmm, mmm. I'll make a few wells. I'll grab my Salisbury steak here, put on the side, and let me ladle some of this rich, creamy, buttery sauce all over it. Oh yeah. How good's that look? I can't wait to try it. How about we cut it open, see what it looks like on the inside. Have a look at that. What more do you want? Oof, can't wait to try it, so let's dive on in. Get some of that mushroom butter gravy. Yeah. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh, wow, that tastes so good. Quite garlicky, if you don't want it as garlicky, add a little bit less, but I like mine garlicky. Mmm. Oh my. That is awesome. Make sure you give it a go because it's such a really nice, simple, easy recipe. Great comfort food. The only person that won't like that in your family is the vegetarian. And even then, I reckon you could convert them with that meal. Anyway, thanks for watching and I really appreciate all your support. Thank you to Gary Lane. I really appreciate your uh, donation to my PayPal. Those donations really do go a long way for me to continue to make a video, so I really appreciate it. And if you haven't seen my vlog channel, I'll leave a link coming up right now, Grego. I'm trying to do daily vlogs, it's not that easy, but it's not that hard either. So you can go and see the other side of my life, see what I'm up to. If you do make this sorcery steak, let me know what you thought about yours. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen.
Mm. This is how good it is.